guys welcome back to my youtube channel aka alexis in life in today's video we are going to be taking a look at the old monster tale versus the new monster tale so if you do enjoy my videos please give me a like comment below subscribe be sure to follow my tiktok and instagram be sure to check out my etsy shop and be sure to check out my Amazon storefront as well. So, I'll be taking a look at the old monster tale and reading what is included in the box. It includes one monster tail loom, one mini rainbow loom, 600 bands, one hook, 25 C-clips, and an instruction manual. And the new monster tail includes 600 rubber bands, 25 C clips, two hooks, one monster tail loom, and instructions. So it doesn't seem like the contents of the box have changed. Um, so we'll see we'll see the differences on the inside of the box. So we are gonna be unboxing the old monster tail first. Um, you can tell it's old because it says um, YouTube slash twist bands. I don't, I don't think Rainbow is called that anymore on YouTube. So this box is pretty outdated. Um, the back of the box shows you what is basically inside of the box. It breaks it down for you. And then the side just says Monster Tail. Um, I did actually buy a new one for this because I... I didn't have the box for my monster tail, so I had to get a new one for, you know, video purposes. But this was fairly cheap. Um, I got it from Michaels. They still have the old monster tail in store. And it was like, I don't know, it was like, I had a coupon and I had a reward. It was literally like 2 or $3 at the most. So we have our instruction manual. hear those like ASMR noises. It's just been folded together for a long, long time. Um, it has instructions for a single band quad fish. Quad fish. Looks like that when you're done. And then, oh, there is another bracelet. A crisscross quad fish. And that looks like that when done. And just has instructions. Oh, it has the OG um, scratch here for the Rainbow Loom website code. I don't know if that's still a thing. But that is, those are the instructions for the Monster Tail Loom. We have a hook. Oh my god, it's a plastic hook. You can still get plastic hooks to... Oh my god. <laughs> I didn't even know. I don't even know. So, plastic hook in here. With um, the mini, mini rainbow loom right here. Wow, plastic hook. That brings me back. And then here is our actual... Monster Tail Loom. It is a very, very cute. It's clear with the typical red arrow on there. And then the bands. Oh my god. I didn't think this through. You know what? The bands are going to have the original red in here. The opaque red. Oh my god. What a godsend. 600 bands. And then your 25 C-clips. Oh my god. So if you are looking for red, you could buy a bunch of Monster Tails. It has the OG Rainbow Room red in there. But I don't know. That'd be annoying to have to sort. Does it say anything? Hold on. Retain this bag for storage. Made in China, June 2014, guys. 
this monster tail box is like over 10 years old. That's kind of crazy. It's kind of crazy. The bands are fine though because they were in a box. At least we'll see. Well, that is legendary. So that was the unboxing of the old monster tail. Now um, we will unbox the new monster tail. So this is the new monster tail loom. I really like the packaging on this new one. Um, it is really bright and fun. And then we have our cute little monster tail mascot as well on the box right here. Um, I think the monster is very cute. Very cute. And I like how it shows you all of these colorful bracelets that um, you can make on the monster tail as well. And then the back of the box, um, it does show the monster tail, some looming. Oh, there's a triple hook apparently. <laughs> I think I liked, I preferred the box, the back of the old monster tail. But I definitely like the new one. It is colorful. We'll put them um, side by side. So you can see the front. Okay, where is the tape on this guy? Um, so I got this. I don't know if you if you watched my last video. Um, I got the new Monster Tail off of Rainbow Loom's web store. It should have been in my haul. So you should... You should have seen it. Um, is this not opening? Okay, no it is. It's just a um, very new feeling. Okay, we got a purple box. Take this out. This is what we're uh, working with. Oh, I have to cut it again. And the instructions are in the back this time. Instructions are in the back. They were not, oh this was not like taped well. I could have just took the tape off actually. We'll put our topper to the side and now we will take a look at the instruction guide which is rather large. Oh my. These are the new instructions. Um, this is still the quad fish bracelet. Oh, cool, cool. It also includes instructions for a tri fish and a hexa fish. Oh, cute. And then let's take a look at the other side. Oh, and this is a. This has instructions for a starfish, a double X, and a triple plus. I've low key, I've low key never heard of some of these bracelets before, so I think that's cool. They're giving new patterns with the new loom. We have our 600 bands, our classic neon bands. Um, they don't look anything too crazy. This is typically what they give out. I prefer the bands in the old Monster Tail because I buy, I buy the neon treasure box, so I don't need the kits to also come with neon bands, but also that's just me. So this is the hook that the monster tail comes with. Yeah, I'm definitely not a fan. I'm not a fan of this hook. Oh, wait, this hook has two different purposes. A bead side and then a band side. That's kind of cool, but the hook is a little different. This hook's smaller so you can put beads over it. And then this one is to hook bands. That's cool, but I won't be using it. It's very tiny for my adult hand, which is unfortunate. But that's 
that's what happens when you're an adult doing Rainbow Loom. So this is our new monster tail. As you can see, um, the old one was clear and the new one is blue, which kind of matches their, they have like new blue looms as well. So that matches their changes. And we have this triple monster tail hook. Um, says rainbow loom on the back. This one is actually pretty cute. I'm not gonna lie. But I feel like I still prefer a single hook. But also that probably takes forever. And then we have our 25 C clips. Now that we have unboxed both of these separately, I will set them side by side so we can compare what's new, what's different, and what hasn't changed. So the packaging for the new Monster Tail is definitely more flashier, but also the packaging for the old Monster Tail matches the old Rainbow Loom box, but um, the Monster Tail doesn't, doesn't really match the new Rainbow Loom box. Um, I did recently unbox one, and it's still not as colorful as this new Monster Tail box, but that's okay. And um, now we will open, open them up. Sorry, my table is very small, and it's really hard to have space for everything all at once. So we both open it up. Um, the instructions were on the top of the old one. The instructions were on the bottom of the new one. The bands, the old bands, the new bands. Um, I personally prefer having the solid bands over the neon bands since I already do buy the treasure boxes. Um, doesn't appear to be any changes with the C clips. Just the packaging is a bit different than the old one, but that doesn't really doesn't really make a difference to me because they are just C clips. And then the hooks, the hooks in the new one are very different from the old one, and you do not get a mini loom anymore with the new one. But you still get plastic hooks, so they haven't upgraded. The rainbow loom hook to the metal hook for the new monster tail still plastic hooks and then let's hold them around the old monster tail new monster tail the new monster tail is blue the old monster tail is clear i also noticed that there is no arrow on this new monster tail which I feel like the red arrow on the clear loom is like a classic to me, but what do I know? So that is comparing the new Monster Tail versus the old Monster Tail. Let me know in the comments below what you think of the changes that Rainbow Loom has made to their Monster Tail. Do you like them? Do you think it's for the best, the best of their company? Or do you think that they are just trying to update old items that I don't really see people use the monster tail a lot. So maybe they're trying to have the monster tail make a comeback. I don't know. But let me know your thoughts below in the comments about the old monster tail versus the new monster tail. I'm really interested. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy, please give me a like, comment below subscribe be sure to follow my tiktok and instagram which is alexis underscore looms be sure to check out my etsy shop and be sure to take a browse at my amazon storefront for all of your rainbow loom essentials i will see you all in my next video at least i hope to see you back bye